Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dave from Apple Unlimited. I know I've been on a little hiatus lately, but uh, I'm back. So today is one of the most exciting videos out of the whole year for me to make, and that is the compatibility test between Mac's newest OS, which is called Big Sur, and Pro Tools 2020.5, the latest version. Okay, so Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference was last Monday, and today is Sunday. I know it's been six days. This is a lot of time has passed. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to make this video, mainly because my main test MacBook Pro uh, is a 2012, and it got the axe this year. So this, uh, I was not able to update this one to Big Sur, and I was like, oh, what do I do? I can't, I can't test it. And... Um, this is my main Mac, and it's on Mojave 10.14.6, and I love where it's at right now. Everything works perfect. Everything looks great. Uh, so I didn't want to install it on here. So I thought, what if I do a dual boot? I've never done it before, but I know it's easy. And um, so that's what I did. I made a dual boot, and I partitioned the hard drive. I gave it about 50 gigs. Uh, added, I installed Big Sur to that. So today we are going to test Pro Tools with it. Uh, before we start, there's a few things we have to go over. Um, Apple announced a whole lot this year, and it is important to know before we start. Uh, after 19 years of Intel chips inside Macs, Apple decided to pull the plug and make their own ARM-based processors. They call them silicon. And basically, they are the processors that have been in the phones for years, the watches for a while, um, the iPads. And now they're finally switching uh, the computers over to the same processor. So that's really exciting. There's a lot of benefits to it. The transition is going to take about two years. And the first one comes out later on this year. Um, so I think there's going to be two different versions of Big Sur. The Intel version and the ARM version. But that's for later on. We'll get to that later. Also, the numbering has changed. Uh, Catalina is 10.15. And Big Sur, the new one, is actually 11.0. So this is a huge uh, change for Apple. Um, now, one thing that I always do is I always predict if I think it's going to work or not. And part of the reason I like to make this video as soon as it comes out is so I don't have any outside influence to my guess. Um, I accidentally saw something on Facebook, but it was inconclusive as to which way it was. So my guess this year is gonna be based upon what I thought before I saw that post. That's fair, right? Um, I know with Catalina, my prediction was it wouldn't work and I was correct about that because I knew a lot of the things that had changed within Catalina and I just figured it wouldn't work. Um, so this prediction, so my prediction for this year is that it will work. We'll see if I'm right. Um, Let's go ahead and dive into it, shall we? Right now I'm on Mojave. I'm going to get out of this and switch to Big Sur. Um, so to do that, I'm going to restart. Once I hear the chime, I'm going to hold down Option and select Big Sur Drive. Uh, let me know your predictions. Go ahead and uh, at home, let me know if you think it's going to work or not. Just for fun. <laughs> Um, so here we go. I'm going to boot from the big server drive. Um, I did play with the software a little bit last night. It's very clean. It's uh, it's kind of cool. Um, I like it. Um, what else? Um, so right now I have only Pro Tools installed. So I don't have all my plugins installed. I don't have uh, Universal Audio. So I'm just going to use regular speakers. I, I didn't have a whole lot of space left um, after it installed. <laughs> so that's okay. I still have enough uh, stock plugins I can throw on there and try to max it out, see what happens. Um, here we go. Ooh boy. This is exciting. Um, I'm going to use a session from one of my good friends, Stephen Lee. We tracked uh, the song Maniac uh, a little while ago. It's a great song. He did a great ver He did a great job of it. And uh, <clears throat> if you're anywhere in Atlanta, check him out. In fact, 
If you're anywhere in the world, you can check him out thanks to this great thing called the internet. <laughs> I will leave his um, website down below so you can check it out. He's a good, he's a good guy. Okay, so like I said, I have Pro Tools installed right here. And that's about it. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and launch our Pro Tools session, see what happens. This is a new, new test for me. Um, I have not tried anything yet. I was tempted to last night, but I didn't. I waited till today. So we can try it together. So my iLock was in the cloud. I thought it was on the, the iLock itself, but I guess it wasn't. Um, audio input is disabled. Let's see. I granted access to the microphone. Looking good so far. Hasn't crashed yet. Like I said, I think it's going to work. Um, there's probably going to be some bugs, of course, but Overall, I think it's going to work. Um, oh, it had to restart the uh, Dio sound card since I switched to the default. So this says the version of Pro Tools relies on 32 bit QuickTime components that are not available with this OS, which we do. Uh, I skipped over Catalina completely. I didn't even try to do Catalina. <laughs> so let's see. Ooh, it's working. Um, it's not opening what I told it to open, but let's try it again from here. Yeah, and of course a lot of my, like I said, all my plugins aren't uh, authorized on this. I just didn't have enough space to install them all for this little test, which is fine. But here we are, it's open. Uh, let's go ahead, ooh, let's see. What do we want to look at first? Um, System usage. Yeah, this is, it's not a large session, um, but it's barely, it's barely doing anything right now. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and add some plugins. Let's see if we can crash this thing. Um, Ooh, this is a little bit weird. When you mouse over your plugins, it just kind of floats over them. <laughs> it doesn't really, doesn't really do it like it's supposed to. Okay, let's just add whatever, right? Huh? I don't think this is gonna crash it. I think it's gonna work. Um, Let's see, there's little things like that. Looks weird. That looks super weird. Sometimes audio suite will crash everything. Um, I've had it happen before. So let's try audio suite channel strip. <laughs> that was really crazy. Um, Ooh. Oh, there's a bug. Uh, all the faders are on top, but if I scroll down, it turns black. That's weird. Oh, I can't scroll at all. Ha <laughs> ha! I can't scroll at all. Left or right. Oh, that's freaky. Okay. Um... If I grab this, I can't even, okay. I can't even grab the bottom um, slider to move stuff. That doesn't work at all. That's weird. That's real weird. <laughs> okay, so there are bugs. There are some bugs. 
Um, wish I had a better session. From one screen to the next, there's some leftover graphics over here that are wrong. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, I just scrolled and it stopped the music. Yeah, scrolling's weird on this. Like this whole thing glitched out. The whole side of the screen glitched out. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> and it stopped again. <laughs> That's not even funny. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. This is good. Um, let's see if I can just play the song again. Wow. That's all kinds of glitched out. Um, cool. There we have it. If you absolutely had to, you could probably get by doing stuff with it. Not that I'd recommend it. Of course, wait until it is compatible officially from Apple. I mean, uh, Avid. So the new ARM processor is going to be very cool. I cannot wait until the new iMacs and the new Mac Pros get it. I'll definitely get one. Um, the benefits are going to be, it's, of course, it's way faster. It's from Apple. Um, so apps are going to be compatible across the board. So like. For example, Pro Tools you can do on the iPad, or vice versa. It's kind of crazy. Um, and to get and to help everyone with the switchover, they actually have a, a program that runs in the background called Rosetta 2, and it'll take any program for Intel and switch it automatically um, over to ARM-based compatible version. It's going to help with a lot of the switchover, which is great news. So I have a lot of faith. Uh, in the future. I'm excited for it. Can't wait for it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Dave and let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll try to answer them. If you watch this like three years from now, uh, of course this is, it will be relevant by then. Uh, this is just the very first beta. It's six days old right now. Uh, next beta could be totally different. You know, just gotta watch how it, pro how it progresses. Uh, but this is kind of fun to do, you know, so. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.